Uh-oh, that developed right on it. Okay. Uh, look at it melting as it goes up. Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Floating Sandbox. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today we are back with a brand new update here in Floating Sandbox. So if you recall the last update, they added fire to Floating Sandbox, which is pretty amazing. Let me go ahead and show you guys that one more time. All right, so we can always just light stuff on fire. So some things have changed here. And obviously this is still as satisfying as ever. Actually, I think the fire's changed up a little bit. Looks uh, maybe a little bit cleaner here. So anyways, today what we're gonna be doing, besides catching everything on fire, we're actually going to finally melt stuff. There are ways to change the heat characteristics in the game, and you can essentially make lava. And I think that's going to be absolutely devastating to the ships. Plus, the melting has been updated, and we should be able to melt ships like this here, uh, which obviously is the Titanic. The poor Titanic, we torture it a little too much. But I do want to thank the devs for letting me have early access to this build. Uh, that's very awesome of them. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go check out the game yourself. And if you guys are enjoying Floating Sandbox on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button, it helps out my channel, and let's make some lava. All right, here we go with the lava. So the community manager actually showed me how to do this. This is actually really cool. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna change uh, several settings. Now, one cool thing that you can do in this game is you can change uh, the color of the water. So we're gonna have to give it that lava fill. So let's go ahead and go with the red here. And we'll go OK, and we'll go with a bit of an orange here, something about like maybe that. Actually, we need to brighten this up a little bit. See if I can find that orange. So something like that. So there also is another overlay here that actually looks like blood. <laughs> OK, we have blood water. Oh, boy. Let's hope we don't get demonetized for that. There is a, a heat overlay that we can use. This will show you kind of, I guess, some of the melting. Uh, we'll use that here in a second, but this is how we get the lava. Now, obviously, this lava really isn't too hot, so we need to make this a lot hotter. So I've got some ideas here. Uh, let's go ahead, and we're going to black out the sky a bit, too, just to give it that dramatic effect here. There we go. Go with that, and there we go. Oh, dear. It looks like the apocalypse is going to be happening in the background. All right, poor Titanic. All right, so we have several key changes to make to the water here. So the thermal conductivity adjustment has to go all the way to the extreme mode. Heat dissipation needs to go down. And the water temperature down here, it needs to go sky high. So let's go ahead and attempt this here. Well, let's go ahead and give our max burning particles up a little bit. Hopefully we don't make it lag too bad. All right, here we go. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, what's that? Oh. Hey, look, there's a rogue wave. Oh, no, the water is hot. Wait a minute. Look at the bottom of the ship right now. I was waiting there thinking, oh, this isn't doing anything. No, this is truly melting the Titanic. Holy man. I was a little disappointed at first. I was like, man, the water's not doing anything. Uh, it just took a little time to actually start to melt through the hole. Oh, that is incredible looking. Oh, man. Okay, let's just watch this thing completely melt. Look at it bending down there. That's awesome. There it goes. It's slowly melting in the lava. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, and look at this. Yeah, you can see it slowly kind of drooping and sagging. So when it goes down in the lava, oh, it's stretching itself. It's not actually like sinking. It's like literally stretching itself and melting. So I'm assuming this is eventually gonna completely disappear. It's like all goopy now. <laughs> We're melting the Titanic. I know I think I titled the last episode, like melting it with the fire. And I was trying to just uh, flame throw it, but this is truly the melting. That is incredible. <laughs> this could possibly be the best update ever. Actually, look at the bottom here. That looks cool. Uh, all right, so we're melting. Oh, there's so many things we can melt in the game. Uh, also, I saw uh, one of the community managers. He actually uh, posted, which his name is Paco Master, by the way, uh, posted a video doing a tsunami. So we definitely have to have a lava tsunami. Look at the water go through it. Oh, no. Oh, this is cool. Oh, man, look how it's stretched out. And it's all just drooping, going down to the bottom of the ocean the ocean of lava <laughs> wait so can we kind of create a volcano 
There's a lot of things that I want to do with this water here. All right, so this is going to go ahead and melt off here. Uh, it's going down to the bottom. Absolutely devastating. Uh, absolutely amazing, though. All right, that's all that's left of the Titanic. It's slowly drooping off. It's about to go all wrong. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> there goes the bottom. It's stretching out. And, oh, there's the signage. About to disappear here. There it goes. The Titanic has disappeared under the lava. <laughs> And now it's just kind of a, a blobby mess down here of red. That is awesome. Man, I'm so happy they shared this with me. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we have officially melted the Titanic. Now I've got one more thing I want to do with that. So let's go ahead and reset it here. Okay, we have a limited amount of time because obviously it's about to melt. So let's go ahead and do the tsunami with lava. Uh-oh, that developed right on it. Okay. Uh... Look at it melting as it goes up. Oh, and it's just red hot. And, oh, man. Oh, it just broke it up and it's on fire. There it goes. Wow. It had no chance to even travel with it. It's just, uh, yeah, it instantly melted and caught on fire, ripped it in half. Wait, here comes the front half. It's trying to fight. Unfortunately, it's turning all blob-like and, yeah, it's just molten metal. That's incredible. I'm debating, like, what else can we drop in the lava real quick? I do want to try to create, like, a uh, volcano. I feel like we can move the terrain and maybe bounce the wave up in it. Or make it go down and shoot up. And it'll kind of create, like, a volcano effect. Which could be really cool. Yep, that looks like a big blobby balloon. Alright, let's see what other uh, boats we can get out here. Alright, so another ship I want to try this on is the Titanic in the bottle. What happens to the... Never mind. Just answered my question. Oh, look at the material. Okay, so the glass, that melted pretty much instant. Wow, that uh, that didn't last long at all. Holy man. Oh, and so it just broke the uh, the Titanic loose inside of it. But the bottle is going to carry it down. Okay, that was uh, that was quick. <laughs> that did not last long at all. So the, uh, the Titanic outside of the bottle lasted way longer than this. I'm, I'm assuming because it's a different material. Uh, that was pretty awesome. So there's a new character in here. We have a stick man. What? What the heck is this? Is this a part of the app? Wait, what is stick man made out of? <laughs> stick man seems rather heavy. Hold on, it's going to go down to the bottom. Question is, are we going to melt Mr. Stick man? Hold on. Whoa, stick man's strong. The question is... How long can he survive in the lava pit? I'm going to go with not very long at all. All right. All right, we're going to give him a little bit of time to melt here. What is this made out of? It's actually my question. He didn't have a description. It just says Stickman. Okay. Well, Stickman's going to take a bit of a nap here. And we're going to see if his face gets droopy. I kind of want to... Wait, hold on. We need to draw something on him real quick. All right, let's go. Oh, no. I was going to draw... I was trying to draw a frown with two eyes, but apparently he is uh, not solid. He doesn't seem to be melting, but his face is now crying. That is, that's kind of wrong looking, huh? And I think we need to help Stickman here. Uh, what do we want to grab? Antimatter, wave maker. You know what? Let's just go with our uh, a slice tool. Let's just go. Yep, we just did that. Uh, can we get a F in the chat for Mr. Stickman? Oh, let's just cut that off there. All right, so whatever this uh, outside, actually the, even the inside material, this isn't melting. So I'm kind of curious uh, as to what that is. Uh, that's kind of cool. Let's see. Let's go ahead. Here, let me go ahead and get a new thing out here. All right, so another fan favorite is the, uh, the Hindenburg. I'm curious, this material here. Wait, look at this. Okay, so this isn't melting. Hold on. Okay, so the Hindenburg, I feel like we need to do that again. That one doesn't seem to be affected. Oh, we can't pull this thing out. Okay, so once this thing gets underwater, uh, we're not moving it. So let's go ahead and here it's reset. Let's try to move. Come on. Come on here. Come back up here. Okay, so let's let that drop. Okay, so it just burst into flames. What? Uh, is it because... Wait, is the air hot too or is it just the water? There's very potential that everything's hot. Also, another thing. Does this effect... Like, can we change the effect into ultraviolet mode? Does that speed this process up? Uh, let's see, ultraviolet mode, let's go here. That might only be in interactions. So, I'm gonna turn that on real quick and see if that changes anything. Hold on, let's reload this one more time. 
All right, so maybe ultraviolet mode doesn't have an effect on the actual heat. Uh, so yeah, I think it's only like the things that you can move and grab. Oh, let's go ahead. Can I chunk this? Oh, wait. Wait, has that always been a thing? Uh, I think we've always been able to make stuff fly. So the Hindenburg goes, whee! <laughs> wait. <laughs> okay, that disappeared pretty quick. Wait. I want to not feel like that's been a thing always. Hold on. Real quick, let's grab a ship. Uh, let's pick out something else. What about the uh, car? Actually, I kind of want to do the Grave Digger. Uh, let's grab something like... Maybe this cargo ship here. Okay, so I've always been able to throw, right? Why do I not remember that? I don't remember being able to throw ships. And, oh, it just literally found the, uh, the side of the map. Okay. Well, that's a bit of a thing. Can we throw something into a tsunami? Hold on, let's go ahead and trigger that tsunami again. We haven't seen this one melt either. So let's go ahead and go tools. Go ahead and trigger the tsunami. Hold on, let's move this a little bit. Where's that tsunami coming from? Okay, so it's going to be over here. Oh, it's going to take a frontal impact here. Oh, there it goes. Okay, we have the lava tsunami coming. Uh, is it melting through yet? It looks like, look at the lines. Are, is, were those there? No, it's sagging. Yeah, it's definitely starting to sag right now. Oh, man. And then the tsunami's just going to come over here and completely take it out. Okay, here we go. Lava tsunami versus cargo ship. Okay, and... Oh. Oh, that is brutal. Look at the stretch. and Man. It just rides up. It's going to fold it over itself. Oh, ho, ho. And look at the goopy molten metal come out the other side. Oh, that is... That's something right there. Ah, look at that. That is actually impressive. Uh, yep, and it's gonna... Yeah, it's going down. Hey, look, we're actually getting a little bit of flames, too. That's cool. Hey, man, look at these cargo containers. These are doing a very good job at holding up. That's actually really impressive. <laughs> All right, can we jump the tsunami? All right, so one last thing with the tsunami, and then we're gonna move on to trying to... Oh, it spawned over here. Okay, let's move over here. Yeah, we're gonna try to actually... Uh, I think we're gonna try to create, like, a volcano... Okay, so this is coming this way. All right, so if I were to go, uh, no, it just goes through it. Okay, so you can't use it as a jump. I bet you, I don't know why I didn't do this when I was, uh, when I had the little terrain tool and I was making the jumps in the past couple episodes. Like, this would have been perfect to, oh. Okay, it would have been perfect to toss it. We just, uh, we ruined it again. All right, let's try to create a volcano here. Okay, so it's gonna, can I pin this? Actually, we need to pin this ship real quick. Oh, it just went to the bottom of the ocean. That is my bad. Let's go ahead and toggle the pins real quick. Okay. I need you to not go anywhere. So, yeah, just stay there. The bottom of you can melt. I just need you... Actually, this is not going to work. I was going to pin this thing up and then try to create the, uh, the old volcano over here, but I don't think that's going to be a thing right now. All right, you know what? We're going to try it anyways. So if I were to go... Try to make this look like a volcano here. Ah, that rock looks really cool. So let's go maybe up on this side. So obviously, it would be filled in here, but this is going to be like our core. Hold on, can I drag? I think I can drag down here. There we go. Let's give it like plenty of room down in this area. Uh, how far can I? Okay, that's really far down. Okay, so you've got that. Oh, let's go. Uh, uh, okay. So if I were to use, hmm, I guess the wave maker. Oh, by the way, uh, this thing is slowly melting. <laughs> okay, this is fine. All right, so uh, let me go ahead and see. If I were to grab, like, the wave maker here, I potentially could do this. So if it goes down and then it splashes upwards, is it going to look like an explosion? I don't think this is going to work, actually. Okay, it might be a bit too tall. I don't think I can create that volcano action. Come on. Further up. You got this. You got this. No, I can't make it go any further. No, it's just going to make these big waves come out. And oh, are my pins melting? Oh, they slid off the pins. I guess the weight got so bad and it got so hot and started to melt that, yeah, there's there's nothing left here. Hold on, let's just make a big wave below it. There we go. We'll do one maybe. Can I do one in the center here? Actually, there we go. That is probably the most satisfying thing I've ever seen in this game. There's just something about the melting that is absolutely insane. All right, there it goes. Yep, and it's all melted. Oh, here comes a bigger wave. It's still kind of doing a ripple effect here. Yeah, so 
I don't think I can do the volcano. Wait a minute. What kind of pool does the antimatter bombs have now? That's actually a very good question. So, if I were to grab these and I go boom, boom. Oh, look what they're doing. Hold on. So, I want to activate this. Oh. Oh, they all went below the surface. Oh, I just pinned up a piece of the uh, ship here. It's like a gooey ma antimatter bomb now. Oh, and... Bloop. Wait. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> uh... I don't know what we just created here. So, we did something today, folks. Um... Yep. I I'm pretty proud of what we just did to the ship. I don't understand what just happened to the ship, but, it, it, I mean, it looks really, really cool. Uh, we created some sort of goopy explosion that's on fire, and there's a bunch of strings throughout the air. Hold on. What happened? Can we stick another one of these on here? Uh, I don't think I can find, like, the actual piece of the ship that I can do this with. Maybe we'll just stick some, maybe, timer. Let's go with some, uh... Yeah, sure. Let's go with some timer bombs or something. This'll, uh... This'll be fine. Can I... Can I place these down? What the heck is happening? I... I think we broke it. Uh, why does this feel like this is getting worse? Hold on, let's continue to break the game here. Let's go add this. Oh, that doesn't even do anything to any piece of this anymore. Um, yeah. Uh, we better clear this up. There we go. That, that's nice. Hold on, let's go grab one more thing here. Alright, so we gotta use Gravedigger here. This is the one that blew up my computer last time. Like, I don't understand. There's something about these wheels. That last time I did this, the game crashed and... What? Okay. Okay, they are getting a little goopy at the bottom, so Gravedigger is indeed going down. It's got Hot Wheels. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. We're going to just watch this one, because I don't know if this is going to blow up like it did last time. I forgot what I even did last time, but whatever it was, the game was not happy that I did it. But, uh, supposedly there's been some optimizations happen to this game, which is really cool. Uh, I like that they're optimizing this as much as possible. Because to me, it already runs pretty good, but there is those times where stuff kind of just hits the fan and you don't really understand what's going on. But, yep, this is looking good. Look at that. Gravedigger is going down. Very, very beautiful. All right, keep going. And, okay, so we melted the tires. What about the chassis and the body? All right, we're going to give this a little time here, folks. All right, so the, uh, the roll cage, the chassis, all that's starting to get a little bit goopy, but... I must say, this might be the strongest thing yet. Is the flag, is that wavy? I don't know if the, what material that's made out of. No, this is looking good. This is actually probably the thing that's held up the longest. Good job, Grave Digger. This is great. So this is as hot as it gets. I feel like we need to make it uh, go hotter. Burning point. What the heck was that? Oh. oh, apparently there was a rogue wave that just shot by. Okay, that's okay. Uh, melting point adjust. I could jack with that a little bit. You know, the air temperature's down all the way, too. Oh, it's in Kelvin, so I think all the way down is worse, and that's why... Actually, what if that was up? What would that do? Uh, I don't know. I'm assuming that actually made the air temperature go up, too. There's a lot of different things to play with here. Hold on. There it goes. It took uh, this one a little while to actually melt. This is probably the strongest thing yet. But nothing can withstand the lava. And there it goes. It goes down to a goopy grave. <laughs> Bravo! That is a uh, pretty excellent... That is a pretty excellent update. But anyways, I do think that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Floating Sandbox. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little update here. Hopefully it'll be available to you guys here relatively soon. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, what other games we should be playing here on the channel. Uh, just thank you guys for all the love and support. And we will see you guys next time.